One of my favorite parts of every job are stone steps. And what's hard about stone steps is actually matching up the joints. And so notice how like this curve here matches up and that matches up here. And then you really, the most important part is let the stones kind of dictate the angle in which people are gonna walk off of them. If this one, for example, which could have easily sat this way, were to sit like that, then people would wanna walk off that way. So we're always making sure the angles of the backside of the stone match up with the way we want people to walk. Guys, what's happening over here? So I always wanted to try to build one of these, and here's the chance to screw up and not do it right, right? <laughs> this could be the best YouTube title of all time. <laughs> the display is ruined. So with the high likelihood of failure, that's why I'm not working on it, and I'm entrusting it into these two guys, so that we can point fingers at the end of this when we've got exactly. this beautiful patio underwater. Everybody, good morning. We are back and we've got Weston here from Tussie. This is day two. So we are standing what is the sunken patio area right now. It's starting to look fantastic. This is gonna be a step coming down or two steps down from the deck area, sunken patio, and then that is that koi window, correct? Yes. Yep. So how do you feel about this? So this uh, is that koi window, right? So yeah, we started a lot of different things yesterday, which was kind of the normal process of starting a big project a lot of people in a tight space. But I'm, I'm happy with what we got done so far. I'd say this basin area is like 80% done which we got this these steps going across we got a pump vaults in our base before the water feature itself the beginning of the waterfall there I'm standing here in the sunken patio area which the uh, hardscape guys helped us out getting this wall put in and we got this koi window here which we're just keeping th things simple for Brian you know yeah of course simple <laughs> then we spent Chris and I spent a good part of the day working on hanging chains and stuff where'd they go <laughs> they're getting painted okay <laughs> <laughs> they're off they're getting painted and this, today we're gonna be focusing on working our way back out of this pond and we're kind of closing off losing access as we go so we have to be very intentional with how we're planning this and we're going to start in this corner we're going to get our border our liner in yep. here start getting our board in place in this corner get this glass put in for this koi window in fact here comes the underlayment now i also want to get this basin area pretty much done today cool it's an enormous pond and that's one thing that we always consider when running a job site right we're, we're thinking about the production and the efficiency of the thing yeah. so actually always one of the biggest killers on a job. Even when you're out there estimating a project, those are one, that's one of the first things you're looking at when putting numbers to it, like what's my access like? What's the ease of installation, right? That's just compounded by many people in a tight space. It gets even more critical. Like, you have all this manpower, well, how can we use it? Correct. You know? So we're gonna be hopping around a little bit today, breaking up into teams. Yep. We're really focusing on button up certain areas. We've done a good job of kind of going through this morning, talking about our game plan, which will probably evolve throughout the day as yep. it normally does, but that's also one of the things that you can't be afraid to do is adapt your vision yeah. and your strategy throughout the day. You ready to roll? Yeah, let's do it. 
Things are really coming together. It's looking awesome. Crux and the rest of the guys are killing it over here on the patio. Can't wait to see how that turns out. One of my favorite parts of every job are stone steps. Love this big frame rock. We're gonna get a waterfall there. We'll probably get a little secret fall coming in from there. And notice on the bottom too, we're also putting in some fabric down here. Now the fabric does two things. It's gonna keep the gravel obviously from migrating down into the aqua blocks, but this thicker fabric will actually work as a great filter for this situation. Currently we're having a hard time clearing up these ponds because we're not putting big wetland filters we're not putting a lot of biofalls we're just pumping it because everything gets <laughs> disassembled in a day this fabric will actually pull out a lot of the dust and sediment and stuff that's floating around through the water which will help clear this thing up just that much more huh? <laughs> Tuesday is kind of like our go-to day. Tuesday always uh, kind of dictates the way the rest of the week's gonna run and how much we have to do on Wednesday and Thursday. So we try to really power through Tuesday to make sure Wednesday and Thursday we're not out here till midnight working, working, working. But I love seeing everybody working together. It's incredible to see how many different areas people are working. What's happening over here? <laughs> uh, explain, explain this to me. So Weston had a really cool idea of putting in a koi window into one of the sandbox builds, which is crazy. I mean, he's got tons of stuff <laughs> happening all over the place. Got bowls, fountains, negative edges, all these different things. And now we're throwing in the complexity of putting this piece in as well. It's gonna look incredible. We have a few challenges, I guess, in yeah. front of us because it is, we gotta get it done uh, real, real quick. It, it's awesome with the sunken patio. I mean, yeah. it's a natural fit. Basically, we're building the wood frame which you would normally do out of steel or something it wouldn't rot like this is only this only works because it's temporary you couldn't do this with wood if you were doing it for real but basically we're just building this wooden frame that will then sit that's a piece of glass in that cardboard right back yep. there okay and we will sandwich we kind of have a diagram here ed drew this up so it will be like this we just mounted that two by six two by six the glass is right here and we'll sandwich the glass between another two by six that we screw into that wood and then of course the liner goes that blue is the liner that goes in between there and gets sealed directly to the glass so it's basically like the concept of a skinner faceplate. It's just that you have to work around the glass, not break it and sure. crack and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. The glass, because it was short notice, it's thinner than we'd normally use. We prefer half inch, we're going with quarter inch, but literally it needs to be in here for days. So this could be the this could be the best YouTube title of all time. <laughs> the display is ruined. <laughs> it, it would be dramatic because oh. if this thing goes, make sure the cameras down the water are going right over in here and it's just gonna flood everything. <laughs> <laughs> so we're taking a risk. So odds of success or failure are? Oh, 10 out of 10. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. I love your design here. The proximity. I mean, think of this from your house. Looking out from your home, looking across your patio, seeing right through into the pond is awesome. <laughs> you know, so it, cool. it might be an amazing catastrophe, but at least uh, you never know until you try. So that's kind of the way I roll. <laughs> yeah, what better place to screw it up than in here? <laughs> exactly. It's you guys' warehouse. I'll just go home. <laughs> so just to recap how important it was, was to do your due diligence, get a design, yeah. and get a game plan moving forward. Ed, I know you've done this before, Weston. I, I'm not, and it's, I'm actually kind of glad, I'm thankful for this chance to do this because I wanted to see how Ed, you know, Ed drew this up, which is really helpful, and I wanted to kind of get the concept in my head, and I'd like to go home and do this in my own, my own place oh, next year, so, yeah. <laughs> Good, so folks out there, please leave these advanced building techniques to the true professionals, right, with decades and decades of experience, because let us screw it up first and show you how to do <laughs> The, how, to, uh, yeah, how to screw it up, but also how to do it the right way. Yeah. So this is going to be incredible. All right, you guys ready to get back at it? Yes. All right.
on over here, Holmes? We got our wooden frame in place. Now what we're doing is we're coming in with our silicone sealer. That's gonna make that watertight seal between the glass itself and the rubber liner. So we're, we're creating a compression joint, just like our skimmer, just like our biofalls. This is tried and true technology. A little customized right now. We have some different materials, but it's the same concept. So what we're gonna do is we're getting that silicone in place. We're gonna hold the glass up. Then we're gonna come in with a series of more two by sixes and little wooden strips. And the wooden strips are, are simulating the thickness the of that thickness of glass. glass. Yep. Exactly. So we don't want any pressure points. So once the glass is in place, we'll come in and we'll get those screws going right through everything. Should give us enough compression to hold everything in place. So I'll keep our fingers crossed on this one. Yeah. Micho likes to foam, but we didn't realize <laughs> that uh, him and silicone, oh my gosh. It's like therapy. Super crucial moment right now is getting that silicone seal. So you can see what Micho's doing is those big globs are where the screws are gonna go. And you can see the marks on the two by four so that- <laughs> Yeah, there you go, dude. Right. It'd be safe and sorry. Right. We'll between the marks too. What's that? May as well get the spots in between the yeah. marks too, right? All right, so let's hold that bottom. So far, so good. <laughs> we got our glass in place. We took our time making sure. So one of the most important things about this whole thing is making sure everything is parallel. So the wall, you know, we were very careful in marking out the wall because if that wall was off, when we attached our wooden frame, we can't have anything twisted because when we sandwich that glass in there, it's gonna pull the glass over. That's when it's gonna fracture and that's when it's gonna go bad. So we had to take our time. We bolted everything in place. We got a good, solid, smooth surface. Then we siliconed up everything. The other nice thing, working with this EPDM, the EPDM rubber actually acts as a little bit of a gasket. So putting that just under compression by itself actually really, really well. EPDM is a very popular gasket material in all types of industries around the world. So between those different things, we have a lot, we have a little bit of flexibility, a few thousandths of an inch here and there, which actually makes all the difference in the world when we're talking about putting something under compression. So I think we have it pretty good. A little bit messy right now. We went a little crazy with the silicone, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. We're gonna have to come in and touch up a couple little corners. The reason being this glass was right at 18 inches. We literally have maybe an inch, inch and a quarter of glass um, overlap down at the bottom. I would have liked a little bit more like we have over here on the sides. It wasn't in the cards for us. We're gonna have to make do with what we have. I think it's still gonna be enough. We'll come in, retouch up some of those areas with a little bit more silicone. We're gonna let it cure before we fill up this, uh, the whole pond with water. I would also like to leave this liner actually in place. So if it does fail or go bad, we only have a dozen holes of that we can actually that we need to patch and we could actually leave everything in place. It's a little bit of a kind of a plan B. <laughs> Fail safe. Fail safe. There you go. Exactly. 